Today I learned that before the invention of erasers, writers and draftsmen used to use breadcrumbs to erase mistakes. The history of pencil erasers is a fascinating journey of accidental discoveries and gradual improvements. Let's delve into the intriguing story behind the humble pencil eraser, from its humble beginnings to the widespread use of rubber. The Bread Era Prior to the popularity of erasers, breadcrumbs were the go-to option for erasing pencil marks. From 1612 to 1770, writers and artists often carried around stale baguettes or bread to serve as their erasers. The pliable nature of bread crumbs made them effective at rubbing out pencil marks, and they served as a common erasing tool for centuries. Edward Nairn and the Accidental Discovery In 1770, Edward Nairn, an optician from England, stumbled upon a remarkable alternative to bread as an eraser. According to accounts, Nairn reached for what he thought was a piece of bread, but instead, he picked up a piece of rubber. To his surprise, he found that the rubber was even more effective at erasing pencil marks than bread. This serendipitous accident marked a significant turning point in the history of pencil erasers. The French Connection While Nairn is often credited with popularizing the use of rubber as an eraser, others had already recognized its potential. In the first half of the 18th century, two French scientists reported the existence of rubber to the French Academy during their travels in South America. They observed the native population using rubber and named it caoutchouc. One of the scientists, François Fresnel, even wrote a report on the commercial importance of rubber in 1751. Joseph Priestley's Contribution English chemist Joseph Priestley also played a role in highlighting the erasing properties of rubber. In 1770, he drew attention to rubber as a substance well-suited for removing pencil marks from paper. While Nairn's accidental discovery is often associated with the development of rubber erasers, Priestley's observations further contributed to the growing understanding of rubber's erasing capabilities. Development and Marketing Although others had recognized rubber's potential as an eraser, Nairn played a significant role in developing and marketing the first rubber eraser in Europe. He capitalized on the accidental discovery and refined the eraser's design, making it more effective and practical for widespread use. By the early 1860s, A.W. Faber was producing pencils with eraser tips, which became highly popular among users. The Eraser Evolution Over time, the eraser's rubbing out properties were improved through the addition of various additives. This led to the availability of a wider variety of erasers with enhanced performance. The demand for erasers grew, leading to the establishment of dedicated eraser factories, such as the one set up by A.W. Faber in Newark in 1872. The evolution of pencil erasers from breadcrumbs to rubber is a testament to human curiosity and accidental discoveries. Edward Nairn's accidental use of rubber instead of bread marked a pivotal moment in eraser history. From there, the recognition of rubber's erasing properties grew, thanks to the contributions of scientists like Joseph Priestley. Today, pencil erasers have become an indispensable tool for writers, artists, and students alike, providing a clean slate and a world of possibilities with each swipe. If you want to know why Turkey banned Pokemon, check out this video.